Hello, we are fifth year students of Donetsk National Technical University. Our project is a three link robot manipulator on a movable platform with caterpillar traction, which is controlled by a smartphone. Before assembling the robot in reality, it was necessary to choose the appropriate motors. So, at first, the construction was completed in SolidWorks, which allowed us to calculate the main dimensions and weights of the robot parts, such as masses of individual links of the manipulator and their tensors of inertia. The calculations of the torques in the joints were carried out in the second generation of Sim Mechanics library in MATLAB. To make the simulation more illustrative, the individual links of the manipulator were saved in the step files and placed in body blocks. Also, all the mass characteristics of the links were identified in these blocks. The input signal was formed using the position setter, which allowed us to accurately recreate the real movement of the links. As a result, DC motors with appropriate gearboxes and incremental encoders were chosen. After that, the project was built in reality with the help of 3D printing and improvised materials. The project was developed and tested on the basis of the STM32 F4 microcontroller. You can see the schematic diagram. The motors are controlled by means of three L298 drivers. Slit optocouplers are used to determine the initial position. Communication with the smartphone is via Bluetooth using the HC06 module. To power the robot, a 12V LiPo battery is used. The rest of the required voltages are created as it shown in the diagram. The control system was developed in the Vayung 15 library using the real-time workshop toolbox in MATLAB. The input signal from the UART RX block after the conversion subsystem comes to the signal generation subsystem. It directs the signal of required movement to the subsystems responsible for the movement of the proper motors. Also, it remembers the signal value until the next one arrives. A closed-loop control system was created for each motor. The position feedback signal comes from the encoder read block. Then it's converted to a bipolar signal and converted to radians. The difference between the required angle and the current angle is multiplied by the proper coefficient, after which the signal is sent to the pulse weight modulation unit. The input signal passes through the position setter, which allows us to limit the maximum speed and acceleration of the motor. This approach allowed us to achieve accurate processing with a static error of less than 1%. The other control systems are similar, but one of them uses a potentiometer instead of an encoder as the feedback signal. The potentiometer signal comes to the ADC block and then scales into radians. The initial positioning of the manipulator is provided by these two subsystems. They are needed to set the manipulator to its initial position and reset the encoders.